In this CAD clip we are going to show you another little um, tip on or improvement on Revit 2015 uh, with regards to schedules and in this particular case walls we're allowed to schedule the top and bottom uh, constraints uh, and offsets and unconnected height of walls. So this is a, a nice easy lesson. We can be in any view to do this and all we're going to do is go to the top tab here in our Revit 2015 15, go to our schedules under create and say create schedules and quantities. Inside of there we're going to pick the wall category. Click on there. Notice we can do wall sweeps if we want. We'll do walls. Hit OK. Then we get to add some fields. So we have some new fields. Not a big deal. Uh, let's go with family and type uh, to start with. And then we want a base um, constraint base offset and then let's go with top constraint and top offset and then we also have an unconnected height option so just some new parameters that we've uh, been asking for as far as scheduling with walls this is only with walls we hit OK we create a new schedule and now we have that wonderful base constraint not just level the base constraint right doesn't have to necessarily be that uh, offset from that. In this case this is a very boring drawing. Everything's right at the level with a zero offset. Top constraint, okay, unconnected. So some of them go are unconnected at the top, some of them are constrained to a level. Okay, and then it's going to give us a vertical offset above or below. So the offset can be a negative or a positive number okay and then unconnected height is basically the unconnected height of the wall as it goes through and we can sort that by wall type or level or base constraint I should say so we can sort this list by any one of these um, column headers um, and that's about it then we can place that schedule on a sheet so just some new um, parameters about walls that we are uh, allowed to schedule now.